Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new, my name is Catherine Alexandra. So it's been four months since I moved to Atlanta and as I promised you all, I'm here to give you an update on what it is like relocating from New York City and now living here in Atlanta, Georgia. Before I jump into today's video, if you guys haven't watched the video that I posted back in March, which detailed my move and my relocation from New York to Atlanta, definitely make sure that you check that out. I will put that link to that video in the description box below. In that video, I kind of just gave a little bit of background as to my reasonings for moving to Atlanta, but I didn't go too much in depth. I promised that I would say that for a later day and that day is today. But in that video, I did highlight my moving process and everything that entailed literally getting up and packing my New York City apartment and moving to Atlanta. I left New York on March 2nd, 2024, and today is now June 28th. So we're a few days short of exactly four months and I am here to give you an update and my thoughts and my feelings on what it is like living in Atlanta now. I was born and raised in New York City and like I said in that video, like I say on my TikTok, like I say all the time, I am a true New Yorker, I am a true city girl. I love everything about New York City. But it always just kind of was a thought in the back of my mind of like, hmm, I wonder what it would be like to live somewhere else. And the only time I really lived outside of New York City was when I studied abroad during my junior year of college. I lived in Europe for about five months. So that was like a little taste of what it was like for me to live in an area that is not like New York. Um, but beyond that, New York City is literally like all I know. As much as I travel, I always say it, I feel like no city compares to New York. I said to myself, if there's ever gonna be a point in my life where I can kind of just get up and go and just like pack my things and just relocate out of state, now would be the time to do it. I'm not married yet. I do not have any children. I don't even own a home. I don't have anything that is physically tying me to New York City besides my friends and my family that live there. Um, luckily, my boyfriend is literally on the same page as myself. Just that curiosity of like, we want to see what else is out there besides New York City. And he has a lot of family that actually live here in Atlanta. So we knew that if and when we were ready to make this move to Atlanta, that we would have support. Beyond that, New York City is just really, really, really expensive. The cost of living is absolutely insane. I mean, you're talking about paying $2,500, $3,000, depending on where you are for a studio apartment. It just doesn't make any sense. There's also the factor of just like thinking ahead in the future and wanting to own a home and just the price of home ownership, right? Like I was living in Queens and the, the neighborhood that I was living in Queens, it was a million dollar neighborhood. They had homes that were like two or three million dollars. And it's like, this is what a million dollar neighborhood looks like. Just thinking about all the things that I want for myself in my future, just staying in New York, there was a lot more cons than there were pros. And I really had to seriously consider those cons that existed and more importantly, how they would affect me going into the future. The future Catherine that wants to get married, the future Catherine that wants to own a home, the future Catherine that wants to have children and start a family and how do I envision them being raised. So I had to consider all those things and you know, with myself first and then also have that conversation with my partner. And you know, again, we were both on the same page and just realizing like, we don't feel like New York is no longer serving us anymore. I literally felt like I could do all that I could have done in New York City. And at this point, I was just riding this wave out and just feeling like I know that I could push myself and have greater opportunities if I probably leave. We have been staying with some of his family, which has been amazing because it's given us an opportunity to really explore Atlanta and all the different areas and communities that exist. And there are so many that exist. And I will definitely get into all of that in the later parts of this video. Um, but just wanted to provide some background and some context as to why I just felt like my time in New York was done. Now, do I miss New York City? I absolutely miss New York City, um, but I don't miss it in the terms of like, I wanna move back, I do not drive. I miss the accessibility of kind of just being able to get up and walk out my front door and just have everything readily available to me. Of course, you know, my mom is still in New York City. I miss her so much, but I did actually go back and visit New York at the end of last month, at the end of May. I was out there for like a week. I did not document that trip at all because I really wanted to just be fully immersed in 
being back home. I had the opportunity to hang out with some friends and then beyond that, I was really just spending time with my mother and I did not want to be worried about having a camera in front of me and capturing the moment and things like that. I will be back in New York again at the end of this summer. Um, so I don't physically miss New York just because I feel like it's right there. I have the opportunity to visit pretty easily when I want to. And one thing that I can say, I, I know I said I, I don't want to do this comparison between the two places, but one thing I can acknowledge, if you are a New Yorker, you know it's like a hustle mentality. Like everybody is getting up, we're on the go, we're grinding, we're constantly moving, we're just like fast paced, fast paced. And when you go to other places and other cities outside of New York that are not like that and you come back home to New York City, you can greatly see just how different it is environmentally. And one thing that I've realized since being here in Atlanta is that I have been able to lean a little bit more into just like, I guess the soft life is what people will call it. <laughs> just a lot more, just feeling a lot more like at ease, a lot more like relaxed, a lot more like I don't feel like I have to be on 10 when I'm outside. I'm just like kind of leaning into like this graceful type of slower paced lifestyle. And at first I thought the slower paced lifestyle um, would annoy me, but I'm realizing like I'm at a point in my life where I think it's okay and I think I deserve to kind of just be at peace and not feel like I'm always having to be on 10 wherever I go. Um, and New York City definitely has this ability to just make you feel like you just, you, you in a rat race at all times. And being out here in Atlanta, it feels a lot more just calm. And surprisingly enough, I know like being, you know, Atlanta is in Georgia and, and we're in the South, but one thing I can say about Atlanta is that in many ways, I feel like there's the South and then there's like Atlanta. Atlanta is very much a big metropolitan type of city. Um, so you do get like that, you know, downtown areas where you have nightlife and you have people and bars and restaurants and plazas and shopping centers, but then you have the outskirts of Atlanta where it's a little bit more slower paced. Um, it's a little bit more residential. It's a little bit more family oriented and that nature. So that's one of the great things I feel like Atlanta has to offer. There's definitely something for everybody out here. And when I first moved out here, a lot of people left comments on my TikTok and even on my YouTube saying like, you know, Atlanta can be a beautiful place, but just be careful. You know, there's a lot of grimy people. Just be careful getting caught up into like, you know, nightlife and, and people and things like that. And I said it before and I'll say it again. My reasons and my intentions for moving out here are not based on, you know, wanting to just be out and about and everything. This was really, really more of a move that was to help propel me into my next steps of life and more importantly, my next steps of womanhood in terms of starting a family. You know, I have my boyfriend, we're talking about marriage, we're talking about home ownership, we're talking about kids. And then beyond that, you know, I also have my brands my personal brands and these things that I'm trying to build up. And I just felt like I needed to be in a city where I could really just focus on me and mine, if that makes sense. And I think that's the important thing about intentionality and knowing what your intentions are when it comes to anything in life. But in regards to this topic today, when it comes to relocating to a new place, be very clear and know what is the reason why I want to leave where I am to go to this next place. And I think if you have a clear definition and a vision of what it is that you want to get out of it, there is no room for you to get caught up in all the nonsense that exists. Because nonsense is everywhere. ATL thus far has definitely just been very therapeutic in many ways for me. Um, on the weekends, my boyfriend and I, we will go out and explore like all the different areas and cities that exist. And like I keep saying, I feel like there's something for everybody out here. If you enter the nightlife, if you enter the partying, you know, they have that, that population that exists. If you're kind of into more of like the softer life and just like doing Pilates and doing fitness classes and like going to art studios, they have that stuff too. If you're really like leaning into you know, business and being an entrepreneur. I mean, there are so many like-minded black entrepreneurs that exist in Atlanta. So you definitely have that community. I've been able to go out to a few events. I really, really and truly have not been going out much since I've been here in Atlanta. Um, occasionally I've gone out to eat a few times, but in terms of like going out and like really socializing, I haven't done that much. My boyfriend and I were really on some like, we need to just move out here and just kind of stay low and, and lock in for a few months. So that's what we spent the past four months doing. But we're now here during the summertime 
and there's a lot of things that are going on during the summertime here in Atlanta so we are slowly but surely making our way out and about and tuning into like the social crowds if you are someone that is interested in moving out here I would definitely be open-minded and take the time to explore all of the different areas that exist because there is a lot that exists. What is to come during my stay here? So as I stated, you know, my boyfriend and I, we are staying with his family for a few months. Um, we have spent the time that we've been here thus far. We've been looking at apartments. We've gone touring at townhome communities. We've looked at homes, just really just trying to see like what is out there, what exists pricing wise, you know, what it is that we're looking forward to. So with that being said, thank you all for tuning in and to this chit chat of me providing an update of my move to Atlanta. I do hope to provide an update within the next few months when I'm finally settled into my own space. Um, definitely still exploring different areas and where I want to settle in on, but I'm hoping by the fall that we'll have an idea of where we want to be. And so I'll definitely check in when it comes to that time. And with that being said, if you enjoyed today's video, please give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions regarding my move to Atlanta and the relocation process, please do not hesitate to leave comments below letting me know. And with that being said, I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.